Hey guys, welcome to another one of my gamer encounters and today we're gonna be encountering Darkest Dungeon. Now, Darkest Dungeon has been sort of been in early access for a while now, but it has actually finally fully released. Though I was reading the reviews and it seems like towards the end of its early access development, things started to go a little bit awry and people who used to be saying that the game was fantastic, said that they messed up the balance and all of that. Though since release, its reviews have been mostly positive and I'm interested in seeing how this actually plays. I personally have not really explored Darkest Dungeon all that much, but uh, we'll find out today how things are actually going. So here we are at the title screen. That uh, took me a while to figure out where the options menu is. It's down here in the lower right corner. And we can have a look at the options. Graphics, of course, this game is not exactly a visual game, but uh, we have the blur effect here. You can see it blurs things. That, that's fine. We're on full screen here. Audio, I'm set leaving everything at 100. There's separate audio sliders, so that's nice, especially separating out cinematic volume and then master volume being here. And I've turned on subtitles. So then other options, there's a few anonymous data collections and language and stuff like that. Uh, but that's basically it. As far as I know, this game is about... It's it's a roguelite, or a roguelike, rather. Uh, it's one or the other. And uh, you're meant to sort of explore this dungeon which was discovered underneath this manor. And, uh, well, apparently it's very, very dark and very, very dangerous. So, I don't know all that much about it, so let's go ahead and click the campaign button and click the letter to begin. Darkest... We gotta name ourselves? Darkest Gamer then. Uh, enter. There we go. So let's see what Darkest Dungeon is all about. You will arrive along the old road. It winds with a troubling, serpent-like suggestion through the corrupted countryside. Leading only, I fear, to ever more tenebrous places. There is a sickness in the ancient, pitted cobbles of the old road. And on its writhing path, you will face viciousness, violence, and perhaps other damnably transcendent terrors. So steal yourself, and remember there can be no bravery without madness. The old road will take you to hell, but in that gaping abyss, we will find our redemption. Well, there you go. That's, uh, that's one intro anyway. <laughs> uh, so... Let's see how this actually plays out. Looks like we're starting in a hamlet down the hill from that old mansion. And uh, here we go. Let's press space or click to continue. So what do we have here? The old road. Map navigation. You are currently in a room. To move forth, click on the other room on the map uh, display. This will take you to the connecting hallway. All right. So, oh, this is like uh, some, some of those really old adventure games I remember playing in Windows 95. Uh, it, it had this sort of exploration system. So what do we have here? We got Reynald, a crusader, and Dismas, a highwayman. Uh, flintlock, rusty blade, worn overcoat, rusty hauberk, and battered longsword. Okay. So let's move to the next room. Brigands have run up these lanes. Keep to the side path. The hamlet is just ahead. Okay, so while in a hallway, press D to move forward, A to move back. If you prefer mouse, you can click. I'll use the keyboard for this. So, there we go. Oh, there's some nice parallax effects here. All right, so, oh, there we go. Dispatch this thug in brutal fashion that all may hear of your arrival. All right, so we got to brutalize this guy. Combat's turn-based, uh, click on a skill icon, click on a highlighted target. If you can't select a particular skill, it's because that hero needs to be standing in a different spot or there are no valid targets. All right, so we got to pick a skill. 
So we're on uh, Dismas back here. Let's go ahead and uh, grab the Grape Shot Blast and try to target this guy. Oh, I like the animation. The animation's really, really sort of sharp. I like it. Anyway, we're against this Brigand Cutthroat here. He's got 9 out of 12 hit points. Now, what do we have? Uh, stun? Does this do any damage? Versus Unholy, that's Smite. Zealous Accusation. Bulwark of Faith? Let's try a Stunning Blow. I'm not sure what these symbols mean, the red and yellow circles. Let's try Stun him. Is he stunned? Hey, he's stunned. Fantastic. So it's my turn again. Open Vein 1. Let's try that. Ah, uh, cut him open. And he's got bleed. One hit point left. Oh, he's gonna shank us. That dealt a lot of damage. Um, all right, well, it's our turn again. Um, he's got one hit point. Let's, uh, let's try smite. Let's see what happens there. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. All right, so this is a permadeath game, so um, our highwaymen here might not be doing too good. Uh, let's see, rifling through the corpses reveals a hundred gold. Let's take that. All right, and we'll continue our journey to the right. And this must seems to be bleeding out a little bit. Eat to restore health and stave off hunger. There's hunger in this? Consumes one unit per meal. Can we actually... Oh, here we go. Oh, so it's like a board game. There's like four different steps here. Interactive objects. Curious. While exploring, you'll often find interactive objects. Click or press W to investigate them. So let's investigate this tent. Clearly where the ambushers camp. Check inside. The brigands left valuables. Leave nothing unchecked. There's That's... much to be found in forgotten places. <laughs> the voice acting is really good. I, I like I like the sound of things. Let's take all that gold. We got 375 now. And we're going through this door, I guess. Oh. Ambush. Send these vermin a message. The rightful owner has returned, and their kind is no longer welcome. The rightful owner. Alright, so what do we have here? We're against this guy. Oh, I uh, accidentally did that. <laughs> okay. So we got a brigand fusilier at the back. And this brigand blood letter at the front. So... That fusilier has quite low health, but maybe I want to stun the blood letter? Or maybe I should take out the range guy first. Let's, uh... Let's see if this works. Oh, I can't target the guy at the back? Alright, I gotta target this guy first. So let's, uh... Try stun him. Alright, good. My turn again. We've got pistol shot and tracking shot. How do these work? Uh, crit mod, damage mod... Tracking shot, damage mod, minus 80%. Let's, uh... Can we stab this guy? No. It says plus 25% damage versus marked. Does that mean this thing? We got buff there. Okay, blanket fire. We dodged. Okay, good, good. Still bleeding out a little bit here. Let's, uh... Let's keep this guy stunned. He resisted, but... Is he still stunned? I'm not too sure. Ooh, we're taking quite a bit of damage here. Let's, uh... We can actually move. Oh, I see. Let's take a... 
a pistol shot versus this guy. That's another six down for you. Point blank shot. Oh, damn. That that's can't hold balance. It actually pushed me to the back. That is uh, not good. Huh. Let's... Uh, can I move and then attack? Let's try. Move here. That counts as a move. Okay. Now let's just take a pistol shot and try to take out this guy. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. The narrator is really sort of bloodlusty, isn't he? All right, corpses. When mon most monsters die, they leave corpses. Corpses act as temporarily obstacles and will eventually go away on their own. You can attack corpses to destroy them faster, but often a better approach is to use range skills, push pull skills. Even corpse clearing special skills that have some hero, uh, heroes possess. Monsters killed with bleed, blight, or crits leave no corpses at all. Alright, now let's try and not die here. Just one guy left. Let's try stun him. Is he stunned? He resisted, damn it. Let's, uh... Hmm... I've only got six health left on this guy. Let's try this. Oh, that actually attacks multiple enemies. Okay, I didn't realize that. All right, let's try stun him again. Come on, stun. There we go. Back to me. Let's take a... Just let's let's just keep shooting him. The pistol shot does quite decent damage actually. And let's hit him again. Rain of whips. Okay. Just one damage. We're okay. That was what is this? I'm not sure what that stat is. But I think it's time for this brigand bloodletter to die. Just size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. <laughs> there we go. Rifling through the corpses reveal a deed. Jade? Two busts? Is this two deeds? A crest. A uh, four crests, I think. And 50 gold. Let's take it all. Completing a quest. After you have completed the requirements of a quest, you have the option to return to town at any time. Just click the crest. You don't need to return to the starting room of a, a, the dungeon to exit. Just click the crest. Uh huh, yeah. All right, return to Hamlet, continue adventuring. I think it's, uh, we should return to Hamlet. Let's, uh, let's, uh, head back home. Or can we actually, I don't know, could we actually check that, that chest there? I'm not too sure. Never mind, we got lots of stuff here. I don't know what these are worth, but we got 5,000 gold? Nice. I think that's a decent amount. So we got 2 XP, 2 XP. Alright, so it seems like gold is actually a big number, but XP is a surprisingly low number. Let's return to town. I wonder if there's a way to, to sort of sleep or... Welcome home. Such as it is. This squalid hamlet, these corrupted lands, they are yours now, and you are bound to them. All right, uh, let's see, activity log. Uh, Dismiss Reynold, uh, that's the two guys we got here. And we can rearrange them. What else we got here? Used to upgrade town buildings. These are all used to upgrade town buildings. Okay, what else we got here? Get help where you may. On any screen in the game, press and hold H to see contextual help. Okay. Choose me for the next expedition. View fallen heroes. Let's see. Right click on a hero in the rest of the detailed character sheet. 
Right, okay. Preferred position. Oh, this is preferred position, preferred target. Okay. This guy? Preferred position, preferred target. Okay. Let's check the graveyard, so no Most one's died yet. Up here, covered in the poisoned earth, awaiting merciful oblivion. Very well, what's this? Women and men, soldiers and outlaws, fools and corpses. All will find their way to us now that the road is clear. You'll need to recruit these two heroes to fill out a party of four. Drag and drop them into your roster. Okay, upgrading stagecoach network will increase the number of heroes available here. Press the plus on the left to upgrade it. Drag hero to recruit them? Does this cost money? What better laboratory than the blood-soaked battlefield? Montaigu? Preferred position is the third place. Okay. So you can go there. How about you? Preferred position at the back. That's good. You are some sort of alchemist of some kind? Seeker Plague Doctor. Seeker Vestal. Highwayman. And Warrior uh, Crusader. Okay. Let's see. Upgrading the stagecoach increases available heroes for hire each week or increases your roster size. Increase size of your roster to 12. Let's, uh, it costs these things. And let's upgrade that. Word is traveling. Ambition is stirring in distant cities. We can use this. Very nice. Okay. Uh, what else do we have here on the left? That was the stagecoach? How about this? Ancestors' memoirs. In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. Oh, these are cinematics. And achievements, I think. And there's an epilogue. Conclude the final stage of your campaign. Alright. Blacksmith, complete more quests to unlock. Guild, sanitarium, and the abbey. There's a tavern. So we need to unlock these buildings. Trinkets. This is the glossary. This is the options menu. This is our... Okay, there we go. Quest goals. Successfully complete your first foray into the ruins. Defeat the wizened hag. Defeat the apprentice necromancer. Siren. Swine prince. There's a lot of people here. Roster goals. Right, okay. So, I guess that's good. Do our heroes heal up when we do this? God-fearing kleptomaniac. That's, that's kind of strange. Known sheet. Tuckered out resolution. Stun resist. Resolution. In town will never drink. Nocturnal. Cove tactician. Alright, that's pretty cool. Looks like there's actually a lot of strategy behind this. There's a lot of... Uh... <laughs> the darkest gamer estate. Okay, let's go ahead and click embark. See what else we got here. Mecca of madness and morbidity. Your work begins. Well, okay, this is the estate map. Test yourself in the mad realm of your fallen ancestor. Take note of how the creatures have taken over, but don't delve too far. So, explore other regions. Unlock these. What's this? Darkest dungeon. Or here. What is this? Test the depths. Or enter the most dreaded of regions. Oh, I see. This is Scout. This is We Are the Flame. Darkest level 6. I don't think we're level 6. This is Apprentice level 1. Goals. Explore 90% of the rooms. Okay, we can do that. Rewards, gold, crest, move stone. 
How do we embark? Build a party from roster. Okay. Where's the front? The inverted bunch. Oh. I see. Red Hook. It names your group based on their positioning and the types of people we have. But only certain combinations. Tricky Glory, Red Hook. The usual suspects. Huh, that's really cool actually. I love that little bit of flavor text. All right, provisions. The cost of preparedness measured now in gold, later in blood. That's a, that's a nice way of saying it. You'll want to take different supplies depending on what region you are going to, how long the quest is, your own preferences, food and torches. For your first shot quest, try bringing at least eight food and four torches. So... Eight food and torches. Anti-venom, okay. Holy water. Let's keep the food there, the torches there. Anti-venom and holy water. What else is available? Bandages to stop bleeding. We'll take one of those. Skeleton key. We'll take one of those. Clear obstacles and break into things. We'll grab a shovel as well. Might as well. We'll see how those work out. Medicinal herbs, cleanse items, maladies. Applied to heroes to eliminate combat debuffs. I think we're... I'll grab one just to see how it works. So put those there, put those there. Then we got a shovel and a skeleton key. That looks good. Very well, let's embark. All right, off to our first proper quest. Your first expedition into the ruins of your ancestry. Be curious, be careful. Huh, <sighs> all right. Let's see what's in store. The hero panel. Right click a hero's image or portrait at any time to bring up a detailed panel showing all of, the, all of the hero's quirks, skills, and resistances. All right, okay. So, are we meant to just walk left and right here or select the destination room on the map? Oh, okay, I, I get it. Send the map on party. Can we, how do we? All right. So we're supposed to explore 90% of the rooms? Basically, we should try go everywhere. All right, here we go. What was that? Speed is reduced? Oh, it's a debuff from here, I think. If torch above 75. So if it's light, if it's too bright, you actually get a debuff. All right. What is this? You salvage the unburnt torch. Seems good. Why did you get a debuff? Should we use a torch? The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Let's not linger. All right, so here we go. Some bone rabble. Oh, they swap positions for some reason. All right, let's, uh, how much health do they have? Eight? Oh, that almost killed them already. And what do you have? Judgment. Divine grace. Oh, you can heal. Illumination, mace bash. Oh, you can't attack from back there. So what does judgment do? Let's uh, target the one at the back. Oh, that's pretty good. Alright, now what do you have? Emboldening Vapors. Noxious Blast. Let's try that. Are you dead? The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Wow, fantastic. Now, the one thing that's throwing me off is the gold numbers. Like... This is this is something that always throws me off in, in a lot of these games. The, the the gold denomination seems way too big. A thousand fifty gold coins. Can you imagine how heavy that is? I, I don't see why this can't be listed as 105 gold coins. 
Uh, just divide all the numbers by 10. I don't think it needs to be so inflated. Either way, I'm taking it all. Unlock strong, bo strong box. Uh-huh. Let's open it. The contents are yours. Looks like I forgot to uh, loot that that uh, chest at the start of the game. Oh well, never mind. Let's grab all of that. Let's keep going then. So there's an obstacle and a battle. Oh, when we use the torch, did it light things up like that? I'm not too sure. Radiant light 94, scouting monster surprised. Shift click to reduce the torch. Shift control click to snuff out the torch. Oh. Okay. I like that. Now what's this? Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. Well, good thing I bought a shovel. Oh, here we go. What have we got here? Nothing too bad. Let's uh, do a grape shot blast to the middle. It hits all three. Fantastic. Now what do you have? Plague grenade. Let's try that. That didn't do much. Resisted. Stressful incantation. Alright, what do you have? Judgment. We don't need to heal anyone, so let's use judgment. This, uh... This cultist acolyte is kind of the scariest one. You dead yet? No? Okay. Uh, smite. Bonus versus unholy. I think that's what we want to do. Oh, missed! Come on. Bump in the night. A <laughs> bump in the night is uh, quite literally a bump. Alright, we're taking some damage here. Noxious blast or disorientating blast? Clear all corp- clears all corpses. Let's try this. Stunned and pushed to the back. Eldritch push. Right, okay. Uh, let's take a pistol shot and take you out. Ah, damn it! You dodged. Graveyard Slash hits a monster mash. Now, we got some healing to do here. Let's heal up. Let's heal you. Now, it's me again. Let's do some smiting and finish you off. As there we go. <laughs> a faint hope blossoms. So what is this? It says three up here. I'm not too sure. Let's take a pistol shot to you. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Yes. And let's do a noxious blast on you. You're not very useful against undead, are you? Never mind. Let's heal up again. Let's heal myself. And we can smite you. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Very nice. And let's keep going. Select the destination. So we're now here. Do we want to... Let's see. Curio? Curio. Trap. Trap. Let's, uh... Let's just head up first, I guess. The torch. The light is fading. The current torch level greatly affects many mechanics in the game. The darker it gets, the harder things get, but the better the rewards. Right-click on a torch from the inventory to boost the light back up. Increase the light level. Oh, it really stress... Hero surprised. Right, okay. There we go. Oh, that actually uses a torch. Okay. What's this? The pack contains loot. Skeleton key and food. Oh, can we actually move people around here? I want you to go there. And... 
you to go there. All right, let's keep going. Oh, these guys look pretty dangerous. And they're surprised because my torch was high. Okay. The hit points are not too high. Now, come on. You got you must have something useful. Damage, speed. Can we Does this only affect one person? Let's try this. Did that work? Stunned. Okay, and to the front. Now, let's smite you. 10 damage. <laughs> Almost dead then. Let's uh judgment on you. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Yes, it's all about strategy it seems, and I'm actually really liking this strategy. All right. Let's uh Hmm. Let's open vein on you. Seven damage and bleed. And let's uh, disorientate you. Very nice. And let's heal up a little bit on you. Nice, that heals three to five. And smite on... Hmm. That's... I think I can finish this guy off. There we go, just enough, seven. And a nice pistol shot to you. Ah, the animations are so impactful, I love it. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Well, all right, you didn't have to put a dampener on my overconfidence. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, check this chest. The contents are yours. Crest shovel. Let's take it. And march forward. Now we're here, let's move on to this room. There's a trap along the way though. So let's be careful. Our torch is still pretty bright. Here's the trap. Disarming trap. Scout the traps will be visible on the ground. Select the hero and click on the trap to attempt to disarm it. Some heroes are better than others. How do I know who's good at disarming traps? Oh, there we go. Traps. Uh, trap disarm 90% compared to that guy. You? 10%? You? 20%. Okay, so it's gonna be you. Did you disarm it or did you get hit? You got hit? Traps lie in wait. Unsprung and thirsting for blood. Well, that didn't go so well. Our torch is also dimming. Let's, uh... Let's do that. No one here? Very well. Now, one of my... quests here is to explore that, so I'm gonna drop down. Room battle with Curio, but there's a trap along the way as well. Oh, damn it. I didn't see the trap. Sorry Lewis about that. The trap maker's it's... art. His efficacy unwitnessed by his own eyes. Well, <laughs> made a mistake there. Never mind. Now, who's the tough one? At the back? Bone Arbalist. Really? All right, let's smite you. Hmm. Let's disorientate you. We don't want you shooting. And we'll push that guy to the back so he can't attack. Fantastic. Now let's heal you up. Oh, he can attack from the back. Oh, that's pretty... They're targeting. Alright, we gotta be careful about this. Let's, uh, try stun you. Ah, you resisted. Come on, grape shot. Hit this time. 
Now, what do we have here? I think I can kill this guy. Ah, damn it! Oh no, my my healer is gonna die. Teetering on the brink, facing the abyss. When the hero is reduced to zero HP, they're at death's door. While they're in this state, they will suffer stat penalties plus any further damage has a chance to kill them. Heal them to get off death's door. Heal yourself. Now, let's do another grape shot. Can I disorientate you again? Oh, and it got rid of uh, the corpse. Heal yourself again, please. Ah, oh, don't die. Don't die! Ah, oh, does that kill her? at the very precipice of oblivion. I am ready, light. Alright, we gotta... smite someone here. How do I know who's gonna attack next? Is there a way to tell? I don't know. Well, let's kill... this guy. Oh, come on! They got 6 HP each. Let's do a pistol shot. Ah, uh, one, one away. Let's uh, try and kill this guy. All right. And smite you. Fourteen, yes. Huh. <sighs> Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Now, can you? Heal yourself? Does that only heal two? Are you serious? Restore purity, anti-venom, stop bleeding. Well, eat some more, please. Full. Oh, they get full. Okay. And what's this thing? A holy fountain? Yours for the taking. Emeralds, gold, and a skeleton key. Alright, very nice. Let's, uh... Does that... We gotta move back to this room. Let's top up our torch. Now we got two more rooms to go. Whistles? I'll be keeping this for myself. Reward hard earned. Oh, that's the kleptomaniacs. Prone to, to stealing item. That was a lot of food. Right, so you're god-fearing and a kleptomaniac. Huh. Hunger. The exertions of adventuring have produced a growing hunger amongst the party. Eat four food, gain 5% health. Eat nothing, take 20% damage. Oh, it's an event. Okay, eat food then. And we're that's our last torch. We gotta make our way out of this place. Quest complete. Oh, we, we scouted enough. Well, let's finish off the dungeon. Let's continue adventuring. There's just one more room to go. Now, I might regret this decision, but... Let's find out what's in this last room. Oh, that's pretty tough. I have a feeling you're gonna die. <laughs> we have seen such horrors already. Oh. Montaigu's resolve is tested. Vigorous. What does that mean? I set my soul aflame. Nothing can extinguish it. 
Sometimes heroes respond to the onslaught of stress by becoming heroic. This elevated state of performance will last until they camp or return to town and confers stat bonuses and other benefits. Fantastic! Montagu. Very, very nice. Now, these guys are all pretty tough. Grape Shot Blast, I think, is the way to go. Really? Why can't you hit with those things? No. A grenade is... should do... a lot of damage, right? Really? My suffering has prepared me well. She healed herself? Well, heal yourself again. We'll try keep you alive. Now, what do we have here? Let's stun you. You're pretty scary. Alright, what else we got here? Emboldening Vapors? I want to boost uh, you, I think. Okay. Quarrel. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. Now, you heal yourself again, please. Montaigu. Maybe you won't die? I'm not too sure. What does that do? This is fear or something, I think. Alright, Grape Shot Blast. I buffed you. Do something! Well, that's something. Okay. Now, what do we have here? 10, 5, 1? Let's, uh, smite you at the front. Are you dead? Was that enough? Not quite. Ah, damn it. He hit back. The Bone Defender. Grape Shot Blast again. Come on. With luck, I'll kill two. I killed two. <laughs> now, let's disorientate you. You're stunned? Cleared out the corpses? That blight actually does quite a bit of damage, huh? And you'll... Hmm. Heal yourself. I really don't want you to die. Ooh, seven's pretty tough. But it's okay. And let's smite... Let's just get rid of you. Oh, <laughs> overkill. No ill wind can snuff out the sacred flame. And, uh... Let's just do some judgment on you. Ah, you dodged it. That's fine. Pistol shot will do. We survived. A move charm? Which is vile? Driven into the mud. We're taking all of that. Don't have enough room. Make room. How do I make room? We have too much gold, I think. Let's, uh... Shift clicked on item to discard it. That seems interesting. Let's, uh... I guess we have to leave some behind. This this is just, uh... Let's drop the anti-venom and we'll take the onyx. And let's, uh... I think that's all. We'll leave this behind. Value 250. Because I think the shovel is worth 250. Yeah, okay. We can't take any more. Let's close that. Let's open this. Can we take all of these? Yeah, there we go. Alright, we fully explored all of this. And I think it's time to go back home. Quest complete. Ah, that was actually... Oh yeah. Fantastic. 
And we're all level 1 now? Yes, we are. What does this mean? You get night blindness, but you get quick reflexes. And minus 1% to crit. <laughs> right, okay, so gaining XP adds random... Random uh, stats like that. Alright, well... That's actually really, really nice. Now, My let's just... obsession caused this great foulness. And it is shameful that I must rely upon you to set it right. Severe negative quirks. Over time, some negative quirks will lock into place and become severe. Costs much more to remove in the sanitarium. Oh, okay. Right. Stress relief in the abbey. The cobwebs have been dusted. The pews set straight. The Abbey calls to the faithful. Heroes relieve stress by taking part in activities at the Tavern and Abbey. Each activity has different side effects. Best activity for each hero depending on their quirks. Committing a hero to an activity locks them in that activity until next week. Right, so... For example, this guy. This is the Abbey. And we can upgrade the Abbey as well. So, which one of these people are... God-fearing? Will only pray for stress relief. Let's go ahead and... Oh, it costs money. Oh well, go ahead and pray. Meanwhile, do we have uh, the tavern? Fresh kegs, cards, and curtained rooms promise solace to the weary and broken alike. The caretaker is currently enjoying this activity. Pleasures of the flesh. Huh. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and send Dismas. It's best I don't go in there. False allegations and all that. Alright. You go have a drink. Tuckered out. So... In town we'll never drink. Okay. Well, this this is actually really really nice. Now, as far as I can tell, this this feels great. Uh, I'm not sure if they actually fixed the problems that people were complaining about towards the end of uh, development in the early access phase. But as far as I can tell, right now, I'm really enjoying this. And uh, well, if you've been enjoying it as well, you can go check it out. But I think this is a good place to bring my. Uh, 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 my my encounter to an end. Let's just have a look at Embark. You don't have four heroes available for quest. Oh, okay. I see. And, uh... Where was the... Guild, Abbey, Blacksmith, Sanitarium, Tavern, Stagecoach? Do we have more people to... We do. Huh. Okay. Well, all right, this is a good place to bring my encounter to an end. And uh, yeah, so far, I'm going to have to say I've been having a very good experience with Darkest Dungeon. And as far as I can tell, it is surprisingly deep in terms of its strategy and its tactics and its targeting and all of that stuff. So yeah, if you like that kind of thing, go check it out. Anyway, that's all for now. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.